So given the position function, p of t equals t to the 3 halves t, uh, find the distance traveled uh, by an object between the times t equals 0 and t equals 20 thirds. Um, so to find the distance traveled, what we'd have to take is the integral of the speed of the position, or the speed of the object. And we get that from the position function. Um, so speed is the magnitude of velocity, and velocity is the derivative uh, of position. So we're going to start by taking the derivative of this position function. So here we have velocity. Uh, and now for speed, we just take the magnitude of this. So 3 halves t to the 1 half squared is just 9 fourths t plus 1. So to get distance traveled, we take the integral from t0 to t1 uh, of this function. Okay, so to solve this integral, we're going to do a u substitution, uh, where u equals 9 fourths t plus 1. And du equals 9 fourths dt. So our integral becomes um, still in terms of t. I like to write t equals 0 and t equals 20 thirds. Uh, we have, this gets flipped around, so 4 ninths u du, square root of u, sorry. And to integrate that, this is u to the 1 half, so it becomes u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. I just integrated, I don't need that. So it's 4 ninths times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. So let's go put u back in. Um, multiplying this across, that's 8 27 And u is 9 fourths plus t. Fourths t plus 1 to the 3 halves from 0 to 20 thirds. All right, so plug in 20 thirds for t down here. Everything's going to be multiplied by 8 over 27. So we'll do a bracket. Um, start out with 9 fourths times 20 thirds plus 1. And now we'll plug 0 in. We just get minus. That goes to 0, and we just get 1. So to solve that out, 3's um, cancel, and 4's cancel. So that's just 3 times 5 plus 1, which is 16. And I forgot the exponent there to the 3 halves. So this is 16 to the 3 halves. Uh, square root of 16 is 4. 4 to the third is 64. Uh, 64 minus 1 is 63. So And that reduces to 56 thirds.
thirds. That's your final answer, 56 thirds.